Welcome to the next tutorial on structured text in which we're going to be looking at a fairly straightforward yet very useful example of creating tags that are going to be aliased for our inputs and output structures. And in front of me right now, I have the same implementation that I would create normally in structured text, but in ladder logic. And as you can see, all I'm doing is essentially passing a tag that's going to be on the PLC side onto an output that's going to be on the card side. In other words, what I'm trying to recreate is the same structure without putting in the effort to create each and every rung. And this gives us the flexibility also to save the data onto a spreadsheet for further modifications. And I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do that. Before we get started with today's video, we just wanted to quickly point out all the great content we've been releasing on the Solus PLC YouTube channel. And this includes industrial automation PLC programs programming as well as HMI development. And if you enjoy this type of content, we would really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell in order to receive the latest and greatest content we will be posting to the channel. So I'm going to transition to an Excel spreadsheet that I have right here in front of me. And this is essentially a local slot to specification for our, our output card. So on the L24 ER QB1B processor, I have local inputs and outputs, but I can essentially expand this to an infinite or potentially infinite amount of cards. And for each card, we would typically specify each and every point of IO for commissioning and then startup purposes. And let's see how we can simplify this process. So in the first column, I'm going to have the output and of course this starts at zero and goes all the way down to 15. So let's just put that like so. Okay, on the local side, if we refer back to the PLC, we'll notice that we're writing from this local tag onto the card tag. So I can just edit this and really quickly copy this tag. But what I'm going to do is actually, I'm not going to use these tags, even though we could, I'm going to create a different tag structure to make this even more of a better example. So I'm going to say, this is gonna be local out, and this is going to be our slot number two. And I'm going to put that data into dot zero. So the first bit of that double integer array, I'm going to just resize this really quickly. Let's make this 100 just so we can see a little bit better. And the actual output, let's once again go back to the PLC. What I'm going to duplicate is the structure that I would have on this embedded discrete IO that we have, like I said, on the PLC. So local one output, and I'm just going to double check that tag. Let's see here. And that should be the same tag as we had there anyways, but I want to demonstrate that we are getting this directly off the PLC. So local one output data zero, I'm going to control C in order to copy that. And I'm going to put that into my output. Now the location is essentially a description of where this output would physically be in your manufacturing facility. So we can make this up, but essentially let's say this is main production area, HMI, or let's say control panel, 345 and the description of what this device is actually going to be let's say this is an uh, e-stop led light so when this output is energized there's an e-stop present in your system then i don't know let's say we have the same panel with, with uh i don't know system ready system ready led light and this would normally go into the description of your tags in your ladder logic. I'm just going to resize this really quickly as well. And we're going to see in a second how we can create the structure text structure in order to replicate that in the system. I'm just going to drag this down in order to create all of these 16 tags. Very simple. Of course, these would have to be manually entered, but you would normally create these anyways when you're creating your drawings and when you're assigning outputs to specific areas. I don't know, this could be uh, case backer, uh, case backer four discharge. And this is the area. And for example, this is like case backer ready signal. And then the same area might have a case backer faulted signal. So you have some kind of a system that's energizing different LED lights. These could be lights, these could be, could be valves, this could be whatever. Let's say, I don't know, we have a motor, uh, let's say palletizer, palletizer, infeed, conveyor. 
and the infeed conveyor this could be motor 3005 for example so essentially you have a an array of different systems that are tied to the outputs and let's say the rest of them are spares so we've specified a system that only controls those five elements so we just put in these spares and the description is going to be spare just to keep it simple for now but as you can imagine you can type in valves you can type in different solenoids that are energizing whatever whatever the case may be now on the structured text side as we saw in the previous tutorial you need to create an assignment function that's going to assign your output tags to the local tags and this can be done through a function that's called concatenate so there's a simple form of it in concat but we're going to use concatenate let's see here concatenate and as you see based on the description of the function all it does is just combine different strings so now we have to create an output sequence that's going to match the structured text format that we saw so the output needs to be what is assigned to what is being used on the plc side so we're going to use that i'm going to put a comma next we need to as you remember create our operator operator that's going to be non-retentive so i'm going to create that same structure I'm going to place a space so it's important to keep those spaces in just for formatting purposes next we have the tag that the data is assigned from next we have a comment so the comment is going to be composed of the description and we might include location based on the uh, specifications of the client but usually that's not included we do need a semicolon as well so we'll put that in then we have a comment let's see here and the description and let's press enter and see how that looks as you can see the structured text concatenate function created a tag that's being assigned on the io point directly to the output and let's see let's just double check everything so what i normally would do is at this point i can just drag this all the way down to the last bit in our system i'm going to resize this one more time 370 and from here we can take the structure so i'm just going to control c and what i'm going to do is i'm going to move back into the plc exactly where we had the structure so as you can see it's called underscore 03 a outputs i'm going to right click the main program add new routine here we're going to select structured text and i'm going to call this 03 b underscore outputs and within this routine what i'm going to do is i'm going to first of all i'm going to go into edit i'm going to paste this all in i'm obviously going to have to create this new local output tag this is going to be a double int let's say there's going to be 20 different cards i'm going to specify it on the plc level plc level i'm going to click on create and I should be able to com combine all of this. The last thing that I'll have to do is, of course, since we're sending these outputs now to this 3B, we'll need to go back into main and change our jump to subroutine. So instead of 3A, we're going to go to 3B. 3B outputs. Let's see here. And so what you'll notice is that we're immediately going to utilize this specific output structure and as the plc tag changes so this local output to that zero one and so on we'll be able to energize the outputs on our plc so i'm just going to write this one over here one over here one over here and all it's really doing is just assigning tags but in reality this allowed us to save quite a bit of time on the implementation side so just to give you once again an example let's go back to this structure that we had of outputs in ladder logic the way this was implemented is you create a rung then you need to paste the same rung you need to edit this to a1 you need to change this to a1 and then usually you'd have to give it a description and you have to do this rung by rung for every single bit of logic uh, and every single bit of input and outputs that you have in your system and then you have to go through this and verify each and every and every bit to make sure that everything is accurate and everything is right now the next advantage is of course once you have this set up what's really easy is to change things right so if you have for example these specific ios that now need to be migrated to a different card well all you need to do is change the tag structure over here so for example 
if this becomes local uh, slot one, well, in this case, it's one, but you can change this to, let's say, I don't know, to three. For example, this obviously wouldn't be the same addressing as you'd see on the compact logics, but it would have a structure that's similar that you can just change here. And you'll notice that all of the tags have been automatically updated. So now you can just copy paste them back into your structure and use them in your program immediately. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.